Hi YouTube, uh, today we're going to uh, make a vermicompost bin. I'm going to go and show you step by step how to do it. Uh, we're going to use a uh, Rubbermaid bin. Uh, we're going to use some shredded paper, a drill, a uh, 1 16th uh, drill bit because we want really small holes, and a spray bottle. Um, your complete package, if you already have the drill, shouldn't cost you more than four or five bucks and uh, you'll then be able to uh, recycle and compost all of your shredded paper scraps as well as all of your uh, fruit and veggie table scraps uh, so that you can uh, make your carbon footprint smaller anywhere in the country. Here I have my paper scraps uh, which is the culmination of cardboard, junk mail, Netflix mailers, and uh, newspaper. Uh, so now you don't have to throw it away if you don't have a way to recycle it. Now you can use it in your Verma compost bin. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, uh, which is going to be the most laborious part, uh, is we're going to drill the holes in our lid. Uh, now we do have two lids, and uh, what the two lids are for is the first one is going to go in the bottom. And you see how it has a lip here. Uh, the lip, basically what you're going to do is you're going to put it under the uh, canister and you're going to drill holes in the bottom of the canister. So if you do have any uh, liquid that needs to seep out, it'll go here. Alright, here you see the uh, liquid that it catches on the bottom with your bottom rack. Uh, and what this is called is warm tea and we're going to take this, we're going to mix it uh, one part this, three, uh, three parts water. And that liquid will actually be great to put on your uh, fruits vegetables, uh, anything like that. Uh, it's called worm tea. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, put the lid onto the canister and what you're going to do is you're going to drill probably about 20 or 30 holes in the top and what that's going to do is it's going to give it great ventilation. Uh, the number one thing that you want with your bin is you want uh, there to be uh, plenty of air because the air is going to help the stuff break down. Uh, it's going to help your worms survive and uh, it's going to keep it from smelling because if it has air to go to it, uh, it gives it the ability to uh, break down uh, while producing uh, good microbes. All right, I went ahead and drilled my holes. Uh, as you can see, I went a little bit crazy. But uh, what you want to do is make sure that you put plenty of holes in the top. Uh, you want to go ahead and do it at the 1 16th of an inch. The reason you want it this small, some people say go bigger, is if you're going to have it in the house, 1 16th of an inch, you're not going to have any kind of uh, gnats or fruit flies coming out of your bin. They will help in your bin, breaking stuff down, but you don't want them flying around your house. All right, now we're going to go ahead and drill some holes in the side of our bin and in the bottom. We are going to continue to use the 1 16th drill bit, so let's go ahead and do that. What we want to do is we want to take our shredded paper and uh, we want to soak it in water and then uh, squeeze out the water until it's like a wrung out sponge. We want the damp paper to be about three inches deep on the bin. Get those worms in there and let them start doing their work. Always wear gloves when working with the worms because the oil on your hand will prevent them from breathing. We want to cover that paper up with dry paper. Okay, here we have it, our completed bin. Uh, it's ready to start working, and I approve this message.